board with Burns out with the injury. Jordan Fox throws it over to Tommy Funk. Another steal by Colgate. Ivanowskis comes away with it. Wilson almost had a chance to get it back for the Black Knights. Well, Patriot League Network on Stadium. Jeff Bell in the captain's seat. Francisco Amiel with a fadeaway tries to bank it home. He does after taking a revolution. Finally finds the bomb of the net. The Colgate offense, seven on the shot clock. Overhead chuck to Ivanowskis. Ivanowskis. Nine right now, the Colgate women leading at Army. Six points for Chandler, seven for Ahart to get them out to the early. He's another player that he seems to, his minutes go up just a little bit here with the Burns injury, but has not been able to capitalize on the offensive end. That was a shot where the shot clock was winding down. Here's Funk, nice job. Richardson, instead of boxing out, he was running the other end looking for the ball. Richardson gladly took it and had the nice assist. Amiel, top of the key, three, it's gone! Clock. Like Jeff said, since there's hardly any differential between the shot clock and game clock, not even a second, Colgate can basically hold for one. Five seconds go, pass goes off the hand of Ivan Ouskis. They're gonna have to hurry to get a shot. Amiel, basically a half court heave well off to the left. He was about. And for Army West Point, Jeff, only three fouls in the first half. Amiel shoots a three. A throwaway by Fox. Fox tried to give it back to King, but King was beyond the arc. Fox's bounce pass was more toward the foul line. Amiel throws it up with a run. Yeah, you're trying to call out the Bulldog there, get his offensive game going. Now a quick steal by Amiel, and Colgate right back on offense. Amiel jersey's there. Dana back, clutches the basketball to Amiel. Amiel down low to Ivanowskis as a player in the paint. He thought about the three last time around. No thought this time, I'll just let it fly. 50 to 35, Matt Lingle in his eighth season. Jimmy Allen certainly don't have to settle for the three ball right now, Jeff. Still plenty of time to play. Although last couple times on the floor, it's been three point shot. The last couple possessions, they've been able to put up three points. And the bench, bench has a little more than half their points. 21 of them. gets it one handed pass ahead to Amiel. I don't think Kane Edwards, has he scored tonight, Jeff? Edwards has not. 0 for 2 from the field. Down low to Melko. Closer than th th those two numbers would say. Down to 12. Amiel loses the dribble. Gets it back, though. Amiel to Regisford with a reverse. <laughs> oh, sneaky play there. Francisco finds Malcolm for the deuce. 60 to 46. Near disaster for Colgate. Instead, the lead up to 14. Funk at the free throw line. Leans in. Lots of contact. No whistle. Get some points onto the board quickly. He's got six now on the night. And that's what they're going to have to do, too. They can't waste a lot of time in the half court if they want to get back into this game trailing by 15. Under eight to go. Regis Ford outside the paint, guarded by Wilson. Tammy L, three ball left wing, no good. A little bit, the short, the shots are coming up just a little bit short, and he's not the quickest back up the floor defensively. Since Colgate's up by 12, time whittling down, Jeff. Coach Lango will. One may have been a bit of an aberration. I mean, that's not their normal, but, but both these teams average in the low 70s on the season. It's a nice.